guys, I'm here with John. He's got an Instagram channel called Beach to Summit on Instagram. So make sure you look him up, give him a follow. He's got a beautiful Jeep Gladiator. It's a 2020. It's got a lot of Mopar Edition parts that um, make it a, a really great build. Um, he uses this for off-roading adventures, and he's even looking at potentially pulling an adventure trailer behind it just so that he can stay out longer and do more adventure, right? Yeah. So why don't you move in a little closer? Let's take a look at this front bumper. So John's currently running the, the Mopar steel front bumper. He's got a Warren winch. Is that the 10,000? Yes. 10,000. He's got his high lift jack. So he's prepared to get out of any trouble he might find himself in. What size are these tires, John? 37s. So you're running 37s. And who's the manufacturer? Uh, the tires themselves are Falcon. And okay. that's that, the same spec that comes with the truck. It okay. has a little bit stronger sidewall because he's a rated to tow. And that's why I went with the Gladiator truck because I knew eventually it was going to be full better towing capacity for sure now he's running the mopar rims now these rims have a simulated beadlock now but he could actually upgrade this to a full beadlock uh, setup he's running some uh, rock sliders tell us about these rock sliders well uh, we've got the truck they came installed from huntington beach g uh, we really like the rock sliders uh, they deploy nice. down to the step and so that's nice and you can't shut this off from inside the cab so when you're on the trail we always make sure that we Turn it off. Right. Okay. And your wife's name is? Don. Don. Now Don's off camera, guys. You gotta come in here. No, <laughs> come on in. Don probably likes that feature more than most, right, Don? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm barely five three. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so they're so they're an adventure couple just like me and Crystal, and you guys know that when you can off-road with the woman you love, it makes for a great time, okay? Yeah. Alright, so continuing on, you got the, the factory snorkel, right? Correct. Okay, and how do you like it so far? Uh, I personally was not a fan uh, just because I don't like the look, but it is nice to have because when you're out west, there's all kinds of dirt. It's not about the river. Right. Because these are these are rated at 30 inches. If you get in over 30 inches, you're in trouble. You might be floating away. Uh, it's really about the dirt on the trail, so I'm glad we have one. Um, I prefer some some of the brands have where they come right up here out of town. Yeah. I think that's a nicer look. Right. But I'm glad we have it. We don't have to mess with it. I have to take the truck back into the shop at some point. It have to be gone for two weeks. Yeah. Uh, so they did a great job of installing it um, at the Adventure Off Road, which is associated with Huntington Beach Jeep. Yeah. And um, so. We're happy you're happy with it. it. Yeah. Now, you guys know we have a snorkel on the ZR2, and I will say the same thing. It's not for water crossings. It really is to help that air filter just last longer. It gets you in a little cleaner air. It gets the snorkel from out from, or the air intake out from underneath the fender. And if you guys have a ZR2 um, and you're off-roading consistently, or even a Jeep Gladiator, this is a great option to move up to. Now, let's move a little more to the back here. I see you're running roto packs and the ARB, uh, watch your step. And, you, and the ARB um, Tread, Pro. Tread Pros, right? Okay. And have you had to deploy those yet? I see a little bit of dirt on them, but... We have not, but we were in Gorman two weeks ago, and um, we, we found a family that was stuck. They'd actually been stuck for four hours. Wow. You know, we'd been up by Miller Jeep Trail. And so when we came down through uh, Hungry Valley, they were stuck in a riverbed. And um, they had a two-wheel drive truck. And um, so, they tried to dig themselves out. They had lifted their tire. Right as we pulled up, they'd done the whole stones and the whole nine yards. That didn't work. We threw these boards underneath there, and they drove right out of the riverbed. So I'm Man. sure that they, because they wanted to know where I bought these at, I'm sure they picked them up the next Right. Day, so. Great testimony, and you guys know, whenever we find someone who's in distress, the first thing we do is lend a hand, and that's what makes this community so great. So talk to me about the awning and the tent. I see you also have the road shower, but let's start with the awning. Who makes that? Uh, so this is from Overland Vehicle Systems, okay. and they are here in Southern California. Um, we bought the entire system. So this is a privacy awning. We have a 180 awning on the other side, and this is their nomadic two-person tent, and we have it set to fold off to the back. Okay. So uh, we do carry a toilet. We do have a shower head that plugs into the back of the shower that goes in here. and. Um, so we bought all three of these together, and uh, Sean is the owner of the company. He's a great guy. I don't know if you guys have yep. met him or not, mm -hmm. uh, but he's been really pleasant, and really helpful with us. And uh, we've got some other little knickknacks that we also picked up from them, like our tire deflators, our tire repair kit, um, our first air compressor. Um, so it's just a great local company that's, that's been real helpful to us help us get started. Wow, that's good to know. Now, on the other side, you have some of your tools. I think I've seen a shovel and some other stuff, so tell them, tell them about that. Uh, so, well, this is a Rebel Off-Road Rack, which I love. 
like an electric set rack for yeah. big kids. And now, Rebel Off-Road, tell them where they're located. They are in Orange County, I forget the city, but it's probably, we're in Long Beach, and they're maybe 15, 20 miles south of us. I think it's Orange or Anaheim, I think they're located. Orange or Anaheim, just look them up, Rebel Off-Road. The guys are phenomenal. They do anything yes. and everything you need for your Jeep, and uh, certainly they have some great products as well. Right. So, um, what I did is I, I wanted both a spade and a flat shovel for like camp work more than anything else. Uh, so I mounted them both on the inside of the rack. Uh, Rebel Off-Road does sell spacers, but this was during the lockdown. Right. So what I did was I went and got a piece of Unistrut uh, from my local electrical uh, distributor, and I cut it to fit. That way I have the offset to hang the shovels on. Very good. All right, well, listen, I appreciate you. I know we kind of stopped you guys as you were parking to talk to you guys, but listen, when you see a nice looking truck, it doesn't matter if it's a Jeep, it doesn't matter if it's a ZR2. To me, I'm, I just love off-road and adventure, and I'm sure a lot of our subscribers are the same way. So John, thanks for taking the time. Pleasure awesome. meeting Thank your wonderful you wife. Great and you guys, guys can find us on Trail Adventures USA on YouTube and Trail Adventures underscore on Instagram, and we hope you give us a follow. Thank you much.